they take care of you as much as they can. Right. But at some point, you gotta take care of yourself. Fuck what to say about the police, police San Antonio, are like cool as shit. You know what Hell mean? yeah! As long as you respect them, they respect you. If you don't respect them, they'll show you what the blue's all about. How often do they move you all? Every like, day. Every day? Every day, from one spot to another. I did 40 years in prison. These tattoos ain't bought. The penitentiary on it. Be careful when you come to San Antonio and try to flex, definitely not a flex zone. Always stay humble, always stay loving. Your ultimate goal to get a place of your own? My ultimate goal right now is to help as many people as I can and to show as much love as I can in the streets. Mm -hmm. So to help the homeless. The homeless, you know what I mean? And I'm a street pastor, you know what I mean? Oh, cool. I preach in the streets, I live in the streets. Sometimes, you know what I mean, you gotta talk to these cats a certain way. The organizations are doing amazingly. I'm all seeing it the hope. They're doing a lot, actually, for the homeless. I'm shelter. Right. And, um, Haven for Hope. Haven for Hope. And they're amazing. They're really? amazing staff, amazing people. Uh -huh. And um, they take care of you as much as they can. Right. But at some point, you gotta take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Right. I was there for two months. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. I think it took a month and a half for them to get my social, my ID, and my birth certificate. Yeah. And after that, I didn't, I didn't need them no more. So I've been here in the streets for about two and a half months. You know what I mean? Three yeah. months. This is the rear walk right here. You know what I mean? It's fucking beautiful. Yeah. I do a little fishing. You're not supposed to do fishing unless you got a license. Everybody's like, Ralph, why are you always talking to the police? Why are you always this and that? Is it because um, I gotta live here? He don't. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Say, um, I gotta respect them. I gotta live with them. I gotta abide with them. And, and if I'm disrespectful to them, then I'll be getting tickets every day. Oh yeah. And I'll be getting arrested all the time. Well, here, here comes some. I don't know if you wanna oh, hide yeah, it. I'm totally afraid away. So SAPD. How you doing? Yes, sir. It's totally cool. Oh, part, part police. Yeah, yeah. Tot totally respectful. If you don't respect them, then they ain't gonna respect you. You know what I mean? SAPD is the coolest officers I've ever met in my life. Like, I'm surprised sometimes they don't just come over and crack a beer open with us. You know what I mean? But they gotta do their job. You know what right. I mean? If they don't do their job, they're gonna get fired. Yeah. They can't be that cool with us. They gotta pour a beer down every now and then give us a ticket. You know yeah. what I mean? So, how, how often do they move you all? Every like, day. Every day? Every day, from one spot to another. Really? Yeah. We move. And they're like, hey, you, get up, get your shit, move it around. See. You can't carry that much stuff. I agree with it because you can't carry the stuff that you have with you, then you shouldn't have that much stuff with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm over here picking up after most of these guys, they're like children. But yeah, I'm a street dad. Like, these are all my kids. That was the number one job I always had that was awesome. I was number one at being a dad. Mm -hmm. That's why my baby mama doesn't let me see my kid and they always keep my kids from me because my kids love me. Mm -hmm. So the best way to hurt me is to keep it from me, you know what I mean? When was the last time you saw him? Two years ago. Two? Yeah, I was arrested for one of them. Um, and then the other one, I've been out here chasing the dream. Because mm -hmm. if, I, if, I, if I actually make this dream come true, then my life and his life will be a lot better together. Yeah. And I already did it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, Ralphie, doggy. If I didn't say bye, homie, I tried to. I tried to find your dog. Your mom didn't tell me you moved, but I love you. And I'm gonna see you soon, and um, and I'm working out here. It doesn't look like it, you know what I mean? But you know, daddy always pays at work, you know that. Yeah. How y'all doing? God bless. Anyway. <laughs> you know what's up. Right. What up, brother? You doing all right? You wanna come on the YouTube channel? Huh? California, you know what I mean? 818, you know what I mean? We're pretty much, you know what I mean? Yeah. In What's, battle. Is that LA or? Yeah, that's uh, 30 minutes from LA, north of LA. San Fernando Valley. San Fernando Valley. Yeah, right. yeah. over there, San Fernando, with the coin up. Uh -huh. Maybe the homies of Van Nuys, you know what I mean? Utah, all of them, you know what I mean? You know. Right now, we're at St. Mary's in Commerce. Okay. And this is jam packed right in the middle, you know what I mean? The, the heart, you would right. call it. Okay. This is the heart of San Antonio. What's this, the uh, Aztec Theater? Yeah, it's the Aztec Theater. That's an old theater. Cowboy! Here's the... What up, brother? Doing right? Cowboy! You gonna love this shit? This cowboy, one of our homeless um, persons. Cowboy is the realest motherfucker you're gonna meet in fucking Texas.
cowboy. Check this out. We have cattle here. We have a YouTube channel. We're paying up the money. He's over here with Phil is over here. He was over here with Phil and I was here. How you doing, bro? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, it's Will. Will? Uh huh. Yeah, I'm answering. Cowboy. Cowboy. Cowboy? Is it okay if I record you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool. Uh, now, mind you, Cowboy just woke up. So, you go get Cowboy a beer. So, you go ahead and chop it up. I'll get Cowboy a beer. Okay. Where are you from? San Antonio. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was born in San Antonio. Where are you? Oh, cool. There you go. There's, cool. A, there's a shake in there. An uh, energy shake. You want some of that? Okay. Came back down here about seven years ago. Um, Told I have to go. Didn't know what was going on in San Antonio. I've been back since I left here when I was four years old. Oh. Okay. I live out in California, so I got on there. Mm -hmm. Train from Union Station, Los Angeles, Kansas mm -hmm. Sunset Station. Walked right to this spot. Uh, this, I was interested in this property. I was going to get rebuilt because I had some history in my family. Mm -hmm. And I've uh, been down here ever since. Um, so I don't consider myself homeless because I'm a native San Antonio. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, it's your home. I, I had to go home. Yeah. You know, I do, I have found out a lot about people that aren't from San Antonio that mm -hmm. come down here and be homeless. Oh, really? And, and be part of the homeless shelters and everything. Yeah. I don't consider myself homeless. I yeah. like living in Oh, okay. So, um, uh, how do you find uh, the city um, and their work with the homeless? Um, it seems like it's business. It's not the story. city, not the city. In fact, I haven't seen a city, you know, I haven't seen the mayor. I was down here, it was busy. The city hall was busy, the, the uh, county courthouse was busy. You know, people, the courts were full. Oh, uh, I see. The mayor was there, the city council was oh, having okay. holding city council. Then this COVID thing happened. And, uh, you know, what I see is that the outreach ministries and, and the, the homeless People have, you know, the business of homelessness right. has become a bigger business in downtown San Antonio than, than the municipal government has. No well, I just, you know, I used to see the mayor. Remember, you'd see, you know, you'd see, I'd go to the cafe and you'd see uh, Sheriff Javier Salazar eating in the cafe. And, right. And this was before COVID. Before COVID. Right. And, you know, they, for whatever uh, intents and purposes, you don't see. They're down here, but I see you know, homeless people, and, and mm -hmm. I've been on the streets for you know, the past seven years doing this. Seven years? Um, yeah, I came back seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems like Central, the people who uh, change the garbage, and the Haven Probe, and Christian Alliance Ministries, and all the other things. Uh, have more to do with downtown than the municipal government does. Oh, okay. So, like, you don't you don't see, uh, I don't know who the city council person is, I, but... The city council's been... Nobody. So they're pretty much locked up in their new building? <laughs> or, yeah, exactly. Or rehab building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, the, the organizations that help y'all, like... Uh, well, I don't, I don't take any help from you. There's Haven for Hope, mm -hmm. there's Christian Alliance Ministries, and then there's another one, Sam, with the same Sam. Sam Ministries? There's still a lot of outreach people. Meanwhile, yeah, they, 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 do, they do their job. Like, they, they, do. Do. they don't try to take care of us and shit. Yeah. But if you really just want to fucking do something, just go down the river walk and there's drinks and food and leftovers. Like, All right. crazy. I, I don't have anything. I don't know anything. I've never been to Abe Probe. I don't go to any of those shelters. Oh, I see. Okay. I stay away from, like I said, I'm, I don't consider myself homeless. Right. So. I tried to give him clothes. Get that shit away from me. He th he's the one that threw my glasses in the river. Oh, really? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm from here. I was born in Santa Rosa Hospital. Yeah. I'm from downtown San Antonio, so I don't consider myself homeless. My parents had this this bar down here. They lived up in Alamo Heights. They were part of the Riverwalk community. Oh, okay. 
But I left when I was four. Really? Yeah. Wow. My dad was in the Air Force. Yeah. And I went back. I grew up in California. Yeah. I didn't really didn't have much to do with San Antonio until I was told, basically, that I have to come back down here. Florida oh. County. Uh, the Bay Area. All right. Mm. San Francisco Bay Area. San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, I had some problems with identity theft out there. Mm -hmm. So to reestablish my identity, I had to come back. To, you got the Bureau of Office of Citizens. I had to pull oh. my... Well, pull my birth certificate. We're, we're all brought down Texas here to the Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. Re 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 all, the, all the Cowboys. Reestablish my identity. And right. How would you compare the San Francisco area when you were there to San Antonio in the way they uh, help the homeless? Um, that's a very interesting question. The homeless problem in San Francisco is it's not a problem. Well, well, yeah, right now it is. Is it? It's bad. There oh, is yeah. there is less. It's real bad. Yeah, it's real bad. I think it's the overpopulation. In Corpus Christi, there's there's less help for the homeless in I, places like San Francisco or Corpus Christi where they have a bigger homeless population. I think than so. there is in San Antonio. I think mm -hmm. there's more of an overpopulation problem than more of the homeless problem. There's just so many of them. Yeah, yeah. So many oh, people okay. they don't know where to put them all, right. and now everybody's fitting in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you got people like that have the, the means to work and have the things to work but mm -hmm. no one's hiring in some uh, places, you know? Yeah. And if they are hiring then the person doesn't have the the right um, the, the identification. Right. I mean to get hired. Mm -hmm. So it's a complicated little deal but yeah. But you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nothing that can be fixed. I was sent here because I'm from here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people have arrived here. One thing about San Antonio is it's it's built like a spider web. Mm -hmm. San Antonio. All roads lead away from San Antonio. But once you get here, you so can't get the fuck it's, out. It's, it's, oh, yeah, right. once you get here, you can't get out. You know, there's concentric oh, freeways. It's a circle. So I don't understand how people got here to be homeless. Really? Well, places like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco, those are places where homeless people wind up. I One thing I don't understand is how people get wind here. up in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. It's not the kind of destination that you wind up in unless no. you're from here. Or you were sitting here by the military. Oh, I see. Or God, God got you here for it. Or God. Yeah. Or Christian life. It is a magical place. Good you. to meet you. Nice to meet you, Cowboy. Yes, Take care. Cowboy. Hope to see you again. Appreciate hey, it, brother. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Love you, I'm here. How you doing, bro? I did 40 years in prison. 40 years? Yes, sir. Three years here. Three years in Deer Lodge. Two years in Stillwater. Uh, I'm not too familiar with those. Can you tell me Blue what Water states there? Okay. Deer Lodge is uh, uh, Montana. Montana. Stillwater is Minnesota. And Texas is Texas. Right. Okay. Well, I've done my whole life. Oh. Uh, how long have you been homeless? I normally wear black. 2006 but... when my mother died. I oh, came oh, yeah, yeah, no, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I love that shirt too, brother. What? Yeah, her. You know what I mean? There's too much shirt for You're talking to, to a real motherfucker. Real talk, bro. These tattoos ain't bad. They're penitentiary on it. Penitentiary? Where'd you get most of them? Clemens Unit out in Missouri, Texas, burning hell they call it. Uh -huh. So uh East Ham, Cole, Phil, French Robinson, Darrington, Cole. I've been out of them. Mm -hmm. You ready, bro? So what brought you to San Antonio? The weather. The Ooh, weather? Man, I got prospect. Oh wow. God bless you, brother. Oh, no, I don't bless. drink out of nobody. No, 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 God bless. Oh yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm nice talking to you, bro. Okay, my brother. Hope to see you around. Yeah. Sit down and talk to somebody. They actually throw it out there. So it's like, so sometimes five minutes or 15 minutes of your time could change a person's life. Yeah. Like I sat down for one person one time for 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and they were talking for like probably five years trying to get someone to listen. Oh, and wow. when I finally sat down and talked to them for like 15, 30 minutes, they didn't know what else to say. But like, holy shit, I can really? move on with my life now. I finally vented. I finally got it out of my chest. Oh, someone see. finally listened. Yeah. Right. So what we're gonna do now is um, we're gonna go by the restaurant spaces, uh -huh. and um, it's a nice place because everybody's there just chilling and um, fancy, and um, it's probably San Antonio's finest. Everybody just goes there and nonchalant, like 
You could be like a movie star, a rock star, and just sit there and nobody will give a fuck. You know what I mean? Because okay. everybody's just doing their kind of their own thing. Uh -huh. And um, I know this for a fact because I say hi to everybody, and everybody looks at me like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, oh, really? like it's like a rare thing to like yeah. say hi to somebody. And the other day I snuck into the hotel to get some. Did you? To, to get some food for this chick. Cause uh -huh. you see, I don't steal. You know what I mean? But if I'm hungry, I'll starve. Yeah. You know what I mean? But so if a chick's with me and she's hungry. I ain't gonna let no chick start, you know what right. I mean? Right. So I went over there, got me going to the t hotel, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I think I was one of the folks. You know what I mean? How y'all doing? How's it going? Hey, God bless you. And uh, I started saying hi to everybody and good morning to everybody. And then I'm like looking around, and the only ones that kind of noticed it was the help. Like, this motherfucker ain't a problem. The hotels, do they help you out with food? I never asked them, and I'm not sure if they do or not. Right. But. Yeah. Yeah, they do their own thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, federal officer, you know what I mean? Federal officer, you know what I mean? Their world, not our world. Yeah. How y'all doing? You doing all right? How good, so? This sucks. Yeah, yeah. That what you said? Yo. You can't so, miss us. You're on YouTube right now? Yeah. Hey, what's no, up? It's, it's not yeah, live, yeah. but... Uh, <laughs> Yo, but it, this San Antonio hey, live is live. You know, yeah. <laughs> Yo, fuck. I don't know how TikTok works. You do TikTok? Yo, fuck no. with the, look, <laughs> said, no, look, look at me. No. Look at me. Look at me. Fuck with the say about the police. Police San Antonio are cool as shit. You know Hell know I mean? yeah. As long as you respect them, they respect you. Hell if, yeah. If, if you don't respect them, they'll show you what the blues all about. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll fucking kick it in your ass. Yeah, then I have to do a job. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, guys, I'm going with y'all. Well, y'all have a good one. Nice to meet y'all. Be careful when it comes to San Antonio and try to flex. Definitely not a flex zone. Always stay humble, always stay loving. So, do the homeless uh, stay here during the night? or? Yeah, yeah, during the night. You crash around here, you know what I mean? Um, the cops are pretty um, lenient as long as you're not doing all kind of. Um, Crazy stuff. Always go around for cover. You know how hard it is to, to find uh, colors around here? That's how you, you, uh, yeah, that's how what you use on your art? Um, art. You know what I mean? Just crayons or women's um, coloring things or yeah. anything I find. And um, this right here is uh, actually a cool ass little spot. The coolness about this spot is. Uh, Everything. You got the hot rack up there. Over there. You got whatever place is this, salt grass, right behind you, steakhouse. You got CVS, you know what I mean? So this probably is the most like popular spot, you know what I mean, on a regular day. Mm -hmm. You know, even on a boring day like today, today's what, Tuesday? Yeah. You know I mean, Tuesday is like a chill day, you know what I mean, just getting over Monday, you know what I mean, you're finally getting back into it. Oh my God, I'm so Tuesday's kind of week. What oh up, girls? God, yeah. Doing all right? And look at that. Yo, this is why I haven't left fucking San Antonio. You know what I mean? Every time I'm how you doing, man? How often do um, tourists actually help y'all? Tourists help a lot. You know what I mean? The the food or money or both? Everything, everything. Yeah. I was over there with my dog in the streets, you know what I mean? Everybody being pissed off. I went off on the wrong person one day. You know what I mean? One day some person was trying to talk to me and I completely went off on them. And it was out of my character, but it was because I was dealing with so much made up bullshit problems that people have that have too many stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, they're like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta pay for this. Like, you want me to feel bad for you because you got too much shit? It's like, well, I, like, I don't even know how to like, how to like put that in perspective for you to understand that you just have too much shit. Like you don't need all that shit. Like, you know, you're complaining because you got too much shit. Like I don't got shit. Like I'm in the streets over here with my fucking dog. You know what I mean? And I like, saw so when my job started um, fucking up my lifestyle, which is, you know what I mean? Helping out people and being nice to people. Then I was like, yo, I'm gonna leave that shit. And they all told me, Ralph, Either you're gonna, you're gonna leave your dog and have a nice place, or you're gonna be with your dog and be in the streets. I'm like, I won't be in the with my dog in the streets. Mm -hmm. So me and my dog were in the streets for a while. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, that was nothing to us. We're free spirits. Me and my dog live in the streets. I mean, the streets love us. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. One time I went to jail, my dog was out there for like a month. I came back, Paco was at the top of the hill, had, had a chick right next to him. You know what I mean? Like He was like big boss, like my dog, you know what I mean? He's cool as shit out there, he knows what the fuck he's doing. Homeless in San Antonio? What do you think they need the most of? Out of out of everything, what do they need the most of? Is it a house, a place to stay? How, how love. Mainly just love. 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 Respect and love, love from There are a bunch of people that that um they're not heartless and cruel and and the way they are for no reason. Mm -hmm. They're not ignorant, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they're just not educated. Mm -hmm. They just haven't been taught a different way. Mm -hmm. Every time I fucked up back in the day, like, Ralph, why the fuck did you take that road, bro? That was the hardest road to fucking take. Like, yo, man, I ain't seen any other road. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Like, that was the only road that I saw, and that's why I took that road. Yeah. Like, nobody was teaching me nothing. Everybody just assumed you know what I mean? That, that I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. It's like, bro, like, I wouldn't have got mad at one person if they would have they would have corrected me. Mm -hmm. The good book says, um, rebuke a wise man, or teach a wise man, and he'll be wiser. Rebuke a fool, and try to teach a fool, and he'll condemn you. Yeah. I'm not a fool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm not an ignorant person, I'm just not an educated person. So before you call me a fool or or a ignorant person, try to educate me or anybody first. And then, once you try to teach them something and they don't want to learn, then you can call them a fool and an uh, ignorant person. But, but everybody in this world is so quick to hate and be violent and so slow to love and care. That, that nobody is helping nobody out because they forgot that we're put here for someone else. We're all put here in this earth, not for us, but to help someone else, to entertain someone else, to make someone else happy, to help someone else grow. And if you're not doing that, you're just here for yourself and keep, keep it to yourself, like keep the money, like keep your love, like keep everything to yourself, keep the hate to yourself too. Keep all the fucking judgment to yourself. Keep all the criticism to yourself. All right, bro. All right.